Hello again, I'm Elliot Shaw alongside Craig Haley, the FCS senior writer for Stats. Now, Craig, the Missouri Valley Conference, obviously the top for the FCS, I would say, with North Dakota State coming out of that and winning four national titles. Now, is this, uh, is this still the best conference in the FCS? No, no doubt, Elliot. I mean, there, last year, five teams from Missouri Valley made the FCS playoffs that tied the national record for one season. I think that can happen again. I mean, uh, North Dakota State obviously leads the way, but they had two finalists last year, also Illinois State. They, they tied for the regular season title and, and then uh, met down in, in the national championship game. I, I think this is the best conference. Uh, they have um, great defenses. They have physical play. They know how to run the ball and pass the ball. They play a little bit more of an old school style, uh, even though offenses are, are, are you know, really advancing in today's football. I think this is uh, a conference just knows how to do it. They, they wear you down. Uh, you know, it's going to be tough to have the exact kind of magical season as last year, but I think they're close to maybe, maybe being able to do that. Absolutely. Well, when you have to win four national titles coming out of one conference, that's definitely the one to talk about. But what other conferences, you know, could you could put an eye on for this coming season? Sure. I, I think uh, CA football, Big Sky, they stand out. I mean, obviously, they, they have the, uh, a large number of schools, but the CAA specifically, I mean, Villanova should be a uh, national title contender with John Robertson uh, back at quarterback. You know, New, uh, New Hampshire has gone to the national semifinals two straight years. They may take a little bit step back, but uh, there's still a power program there. You know, you have Richmond, William & Mary, James Madison. Madison. It should be a terrific uh, conference there. I think uh, you also have the Big Sky, uh, all those teams out there. And Montana starting this weekend uh, with a big game against North Dakota State. Um, their rival, Montana State, is going to have a huge year on offense. I, Eastern Washington out there, I, I think that's just a, a deep league. I mean, even the teams that just missed the playoffs, they're right there knocking at the door. So I, I think that's a, uh, two conferences that stand out. Yeah, absolutely. Now, getting a little more in-depth you know, in the conference talk with these different conferences and, and where they're going to be, which, which would you say are going to have their ups and downs this season? You know, which one's on the rise, which one's kind of – you know, going down a little bit. What sure. Would you say? I, I think uh, that, that's on the lines of, say, Big South last year really has come on strong in recent years with Coastal Carolina leading the way. But I, I think this year the conference I would look for, Ohio Valley Conference. I mean, they haven't had uh, too much success in the playoffs, and, and they did two years ago, but most years they haven't. But this year, the, the, a lot of the main players in the OVC are, are FBS transfers. They've kind of hit it right in that regard. So I, I think it's going to be a huge year there with, with Jacksonville State probably leading the way. Um, I think you don't want to forget uh, the Southern Conference, um, and, and it was easy to forget them last year because they had lost App State and Georgia yeah. Southern, but Chattanooga showed us how strong they are. I think the depth is sort of forming again down there, so I think that's a, team, that's a conference to, to keep an eye on this year as well. Absolutely. Now, if you got the college football fever, be sure to check us out at fcs.football. That's going to do it for us. And also, check out our Twitter, at fcs underscore stats, as well as, you know, give Craig a follow, at Craig Haley. He's got you covered on all things FCS. Again, I'm Elliot Shaw. Thanks for watching.